Alright, so this is just going to be a quick video about physical and chemical changes. And uh, let's start with physical changes. What a physical change is, is uh, a change that alters the appearance or the state of matter, but not the composition of matter. In contrast, a chemical in a chemical change, atoms rearrange and new substances are formed. So let's discuss, uh, we'll, we'll go through a couple of examples and uh, you can sort of quiz yourself and, and uh, figure out if they're uh, physical or chemical changes. So here we go. Breaking a glass, uh, would that be a physical or a chemical change? Well, you need to ask yourself, uh, are the individual glass, the molecules that make up the glass, are they changing their chemical composition at all? The answer is no. Therefore, breaking the glass would be a physical change. Burning wood. Once again, ask yourself, when wood is burned, are the molecules that make up the wood changed into other molecules? The answer is yes. Therefore, burning wood is a chemical change. Iron rusting. Is that a physical or a chemical change? This one's actually maybe, I don't know, it might be a little tricky, but uh, the answer is it's actually a chemical change because uh, the process of rusting, uh, the, in, during the process of rusting, the uh, iron atoms react with oxygen in the air to form iron oxide, and that's where you get rust. So iron rusting is, in fact, a chemical change. What about water boiling? Physical or chemical? It turns out that water boiling is actually a physical change and not a chemical one. Certainly when you boil water, you get water vapor, which has very different properties than liquid water. However, it's still water. It's still H2O. Uh, bonds are not broken between the oxygen atom and either of the two hydrogen atoms to which it is bonded. So water boiling is in fact a physical change and not a chemical one. Decaffeinating coffee, physical or chemical? Well, it turns out that uh, to decaffeinate coffee, all you're doing is taking the caffeine that's already in coffee out of the coffee. So that would actually be considered a physical change. You're just filtering out the caffeine. All, all the chemical structures of everything still remains intact in this process. Physical change. And lastly, um, here's the last one. Uh, Dissolving sugar in water, physical or chemical change? And this one's pretty tricky. Uh, once again, you have to ask yourself, are the individual molecules uh, changing their composition and becoming other molecules? The answer here is no. When you dissolve sugar in water, each sugar molecule becomes surrounded by water molecules. But the molecules themselves still, rem the molecules themselves still remain intact. Therefore, dissolving sugar in water is a chemical change. Excuse me. <laughs> it's a physical change. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions on this, maybe uh, you have uh, a change that you're not sure if it's physical or chemi uh, chemical, go ahead and uh, ask me what it is. Either you know, email me or drop a comment on this video, and uh, good luck.